Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Francis Vlogs. It's me, Francis de la Cruz, your Seaman Vlogger. In this video guys, I want to teach you how to compute the gyro error by amplitude of the sun. You can compute the amplitude of the sun by sun setting or by sun rising. But for now, we have to focus on sun setting, okay? So what are the requirements? So the required are the UTC time, gyro bearing, latitude, and declination. These are the things that we are needed in order to compute the amplitude of the sun. So we put now the UTC time. You have to put the time where you sight the sun bearing, okay? You have to put the exact time where you get the sun's bearing. So let's say 1600 hour and 00 minutes and 23 seconds and don't forget the date august 16 2023 okay and the gyro bearing you have to put the gyro bearing of the sun so we have two eight five degrees okay and of course the latitude we have 0 24 degrees 15.3 north you have to put the latitude where you sight the sun's bearing okay and the declination you will find the declination in the almanac publication let's see here okay guys that is our almanac august 14 15 16 since august 16 now so we have to find the 16th day, okay? That is 16 UTC time. Katabi ng 16 is time, 00, zero hours, okay? Tama. And then the declination is north, 13, 5, 2.9. Sorry guys, very small. So we have to check if it's sun, it's correct, sun, okay? Sun, JHA in declination, okay? So, you have to check if it's increasing or decreasing for your decorrection. Sorry guys, hindi ko na video yan yung decorrection. Nasa pinakamababa siya. It's a lower part of this, okay? Nandyan lang nakalagay D, okay? So, we have north, 13 degrees, 52.9 minutes. And we have decor or declination correction it's 0 0.8 minutes so you have to deduct or subtract the decorrection because as you observe the declination in the almanac is decreasing okay so you have to subtract if increasing you have to add so we have north 13 degrees and uh, 52.1 minutes so that is our declination by the way guys uh when is the perfect time or the best time to get the sun's bearing when you are computing the amplitude of the sun okay i will i'll show you here so let let's say that this is our horizon okay horizon if the sun is already here, you can get, you can now get the sun's bearing until the suns become like this. This too is the best time you can get the sun's bearing in order to compute the amplitude of the sun. Okay? Okay, let's start the computation. So first, you have to know the formula here is the formula sine declination divided by cosine cost i mean cost latitude it's easy okay sin declination what is your declination you have 13 degrees 52.1 minutes 
over cost latitude. So what's your latitude? You have 0 to 4 degrees, 15.3 north. Okay, you have to divide. So using calculator, you will find the sin and cost of this. So you have to press this sin, this one, sin, 13 degrees, 52.1 minutes, equals, you have 0 to, 0 to, 3, 9, 6, 9. Okay. Next, the cost, this one. So, cost, press this cost. Cost 0 to 4 degrees, 15.3 de minutes equal, you have 0 0.91172. You just get only the 5 digits, okay? Then you have to divide. So, 0 0.23969 divided by... 0 0.91172 is equal to you have 0 0.26289 and after that you have to multiply by 60 okay let's try 0 point two six two eight nine multiplied by sixty you have fifteen point seven okay fifteen point seven so in this case we have to put the suffix and the prefix of the amplitude okay so the prefix is you have to copy this one the declination north that is the prefix okay you have to copy the name of the declination and the suffix is when you are get the sense bearing by setting it is west okay west if sun setting west if your amplitude of the sun is sun rising, you have to put east. Okay, understood? Once again, if you are computing the amplitude of the sun by sun setting, west, and sun rising, you have to put east. Okay? Now, let's copy the amplitude here. Amplitude. We have north. 15.7 west okay you have to add this you have to add to 70 okay why this is the partition plane north south east west so if north east you have to deduct 90 if south is you have to add 90 it is if it is southwest you have to minus 270 and plus 270 since this this is northwest okay northwest you have 270 okay so 15.7 15.7 plus 270, you have 285, 285.7. So you have 285.7. Okay. So this is your true bearing. So you have true bearing 285.7. Okay. So we will get the zero error. So since our zero bearing, K 
Okay, jaro bearing. We have here jaro bearing two eight five degrees. So two eight five. It's always minus. So we have two eight five point seven minus two eight five. We have zero error. Zero point seven. West or east? Since the zero bearing is least than true bearing, you have east. Okay, you know the compass. Compass best is west. If least east. Okay, zero bearing or the compass bearing two eight five least least than two true bearing two eight five point seven. So mas mababa tung two eight five kaya naging is sya least mababa best mataas. Kapag mas mataas ito kaysa dito west. So our zero error is zero point seven east. So we're done guys, as easy as that, I, I hope you understand and you learn something about Jero Airb amplitude of the sun, especially sun setting. And if you have question, clarification, or any suggestions, do not hesitate to comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, like my YouTube channel, Francis Vlogs. It's me, Francis de la Cruz, your Seaman Vlogger. See you for my next video. Bye-bye!